In the previous demo, we have seen archive data reporting from an S4 HANA system uh, using native Fury applications from Archive Hub. Um, in this current demo, we will see how we can report SAP ECC um, 6 application archive data in Fury uh, apps. Okay, I will uh, jump into the Fury Launchpad which um, can be hosted in the BTP um, launchpad as well. Now you can see here um, ECC, SAP ECC archive data reporting. So we have applications out of the box for every archiving object from an ECC system. Um, in this part of the demo, we'll uh, look at some of the applications. So. I will um, jump into this uh, uh, FB03, which is the um, financial document display application. So um, the data is coming from an um, archive files, which is ADK files, which are um, standard um, SAP way of archiving um, um, to reduce the data growth uh, in an ECC system, which is residing in a content server. Right, so um, I will just click uh, um, go button here. Uh, you can see here um, the archive data um, are um, listed for the financial uh, documents. Uh, now I would drill down um, into one and then also walk you through the backend system to compare the data. For example, um, one of the data I choose here. Um, now the data is loading from um, an uh, ADK file from the backend system. Okay, so you can see here, if, even if you have attachments, all of these attachments are natively available here. And if you have a document flow or long text and change document, that'll be available as well. Now, can I open these attachments directly from the system? Yes, I will just open another um, uh, tab so we can see this uh, applications. This is an attachment that is coming out of this, uh, um, um, the FB03. Right, so now I can copy this and go back to uh, the source system to show um, the same transaction. And um, I can just paste here this is company code 1000, fiscal year 1994. As soon as I access this one, you can see on the bottom it says this is already archived. That's exactly we were also um, viewing it from there. I can also, you can see here, this is fiscal A 1994 and 1000. I can also view the attachment list from here itself, right? I can also open the attachment from here itself. Um, I'm able to uh, open this one as well, right? So um, uh, the application, um, Fury application is supporting all attachments like archive link or GOS or DMS attachments um, from any uh, of these other um, transactions now um, so that was the first um, application now I will now um, go into another application which is maybe in uh, purchase order display me 23n um, I'll just open this app and um, see randomly um, search for documents or I'll just click um, go button I'll open you know one application where uh, we would have uh, multiple line items perhaps uh, and has some attachments so we can compare it okay so yes one zero three one eight you can see the header information um, there is 11 line items so I can display all of these here and I can also turn on to um, display um, all of those fields available in the system we could also um, look up um, every other field that is available in this for example in this line item right so um, there will be 300 plus fields 365 and I could rearrange or or show or hide any one of these fields. all of these fields are coming from the archive files ADK files right so if a purchase order history is there it will be available schedule line items yes there are schedule lines are available and if you have attachments that will be available for example, I can open one of these attachments here. Uh, let us see what it brings. Yes, there is a bearing attached um, to this purchase order. Um, we can check how this purchase order um, um, is also accessible from a backend just to compare um, if I'm able to uh, 
view that particular order yes this is already archived and I wanted to also show this attachments right so these are the attachments I can open up the same attachment from here as well okay so um, that would um, take us back to the next application um, example here um, a billing document which is VF03 in ECC world and I will open it and perhaps we can use one of these search option to search a document if I don't have the search function I could actually enter here wildcard search as well star um, five two uh, three eight is an example um, yes there is one document available I can just click here um, to drill down further into details this billing document has uh, yes four line items you can see um, it has uh, partner information. If there's change history available, it will be appearing here as well, um, and um, attachments as well. So, um, as you can see here, there is no um, limit of what information that you can see from a standard application, um, also in the Fury view as well, right? So, even if you have custom objects, custom archiving objects. Uh, we bring those custom archiving objects reports as well um, f into this uh, Fiery Launchpad. So, um, so right now what you have seen is the um, SAP ECC um, six system archive data reporting. Um, so, what what is the main um, use case here is if you have 10, 15, 20 years of data in ECC, but you haven't moved to S4 HANA, but still living in ECC world. Um, you can reduce the footprint of your data um, and by, by um, standard way of archiving and have the reportings available using the native Fury uh, way, right? This way, users will be happy because it's a user-friendly reports and at the same time, you can reduce the footprint of the data volume in an ECC system. All right, so that concludes um, this part of the demo and I will see you guys in another demo. Thank you.